Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone is well. Um, day two of my vacation, or staycation, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was not able to get any cards read Thursday because literally as soon as I woke up, it was a matter of get dressed, go to work because there was a an emergency. So yeah, didn't get anything done on Thursday because by the time I got home, I was just fried. And yesterday I was feeling a little bit under the weather. I'm feeling better today, so we're going to throw some cards down. Because it's past due time for a weekly, so it's going to be the weekly top and bottom. For those of you who are new here and not sure how we do this, um, I go by the element. It's Virgo season, so we're going to start with the earth signs and go around the wheel accordingly. Check your placements if you think you might want something that resonates a little bit better than your sun sign. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher, and cross-watchers are always welcome. So without further ado, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, let's get your cards on the table. Seven of Cups reversed, Nine of Wands reversed, oh, a little bit of confusion, might kind of feel like thrown in the towel, okay. rewind a little bit. Ace of Wands upright, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Something new, something awesome, something passionate, but certain things in life may have gotten tossed over to the wayside with this Ten of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. It happens. Yeah, we'll throw clarifiers on that in a second. Fast forward a little bit. World in the reverse, Five of Cups in the upright. Mm, oy, 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 oy. Possibly some unfinished business, possibly something that didn't get closed out coming back to haunt you. Maybe brought about some sadness, spilled some cups. Still got two full cups though. I mean, it's not all bad. It just seemed that way at the time. All right, what's coming in for this week? Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, that's livable. That's the other side of heartbreak, laying something to rest. Something new and prosperous coming for the future. I like it. All right. All right. It's not all bad, is it? In the moment, it probably sucked, but... Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my Earth sign friend, please? Capricorn, Tor la, 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 la. Capricorn Taurus, Virgo. Pardon me.
Page of Swords came out randomly during the shuffle. We'll see if it comes back out. These cards have about had it. Yeah. I didn't even ask a question yet. Queen of Cups. Came out without intention. Obviously something you had some deep emotion for. Maybe still do. Might get you a little watery once in a while. Why is the Ace of Wands here? My Wands reversed. Okay. Hmm. One more. Knight of Wands reversed. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? Something new, something different, something passionate. Possibly something that could have been committal. Temperance upright, ace of swords reversed. Could have been Sagittarius you're dealing with. Patience, balance, relating well together. Not a lot of communication, though. Okay. Why is Ten of Pentacles reversed here? Things being thrown to the wayside. Two of Wands reversed. Interruption in the path. Stuck at a crossroads. Okay. Things kind of started to fall apart. Not quite sure what direction you wanted to go in. One more on that. Oh. Justice reversed. Another Ten of Pentacles reversed. Could have been you, could have been them. It didn't seem fair. Things were thrown off balance. Getting a sense that you may have had to let the connection go. Fast forward a little bit here. Why is the world in the reverse here? Ace of Wands, yep. You had to let this go. It was left hanging out there. Right about a great sadness. Why is the Five of Cups here? Six of Swords reversed came out. It kind of flipped on its way out, so that splits the story a little bit.
some of you, the moving on brought about a great sadness. Maybe one or the other of you had to return to something else and it brought about a great sadness. Maybe the return is what brought about the confusion. All right, why is the Four of Swords here for this week? What are you laying to rest? What are the Earth signs laying to rest? King of Cups, the emotional closing off. One more. Four of Pentacles reversed, Three of Pentacles reversed, King of Cups reversed, you're laying it to rest, you're emotionally closing yourself off from it, you're releasing it, you're accepting that you can't build on it, you're letting it go. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Okay, I don't need 20 cards. Can we try that again? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Okay, I'll take two. Five of Wands reversed, King of Wands, well... That's not too shabby. New start in abundance, slow starter, a little less confrontation. Something you can go after and get. I mean, this is an ace, this is a king, what do you want? Maybe it's just me, but I'll take the king. Just saying. Advice. Three of Swords in the reverse, Three of Cups in the upright. Sometimes you just gotta shake the swords out, have a good time, get together with friends. Maybe that's what you're doing this week. Reuniting. Prince of Swords upright, Devil in the reverse. Open up lines of communication with connections that are a little less toxic. Don't go out doing anything foolish. It's good advice. That's good sound advice. Fool in the up, sorry, fool in the reverse, nine of swords in the reverse. Hmm. Don't jump or rush into anything too quickly and just try to take your mind off things. Don't overthink things. Don't overthink connections. Don't go all bat crap bonkers. Just release it and let it go. The magician in the tower. The tower is in the reverse. I love this. This is a great piece of advice. You can manifest Whatever you want. You can manifest the rebuilding of that tower any way you want it built. That's amazing. Positive vibes, positive energy. Just release the confusion. I like it. Okay. Earth sign friends, it's what I have for you this week. I gotta 
pick up the little card buffet here. Air signs will be next. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what's coming in for you guys this week? And the Nine of Cups. New and exciting paths and adventures leading you to emotional happiness. You cannot ask for more. What happened? Rewind a little bit. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Something was out of control. By the looks of things, you had to put a house plan on the back deck. We'll get a clarifier on it in a second. Fast forward a little. The Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Oh! Well, the only place to go is up when you're down, right? So maybe you saw something you shouldn't have seen. Heard something that wasn't for your ears. Saw something that wasn't for your eyes. Could have been the other person. Somebody went a little uh, bat poop bonkers there for a minute. Got all up in their head. After things were a lot of control and you had to put somebody out on the back deck. Okay. All right. Okay. It's coming in this week. Oh my gosh. It's the King of Pentacles and the Five of Cups reversed. This is the one you want. Yeah. This is the one you want. It's the one you want. And it's going to bring an end to the sadness. I like it. End to the sadness. Universe, Source, and Spirits. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my air sign friends, please? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hey! Before I even ask a question, King of Pentacles in the reverse, Shadow Side. Hmm, mm, I don't like it. Get those thoughts out of your head right now. That's self-worth problems. That's something that has its hooks in you so bad. Made you question your own self-worth. Hey, no, 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 no. No, we ain't all about that. So, whoever's having issues with that, whoever needs to hear this, just put an end to it right now. Kick off the cement shoes, because all it's doing is dragging you down. There's new and exciting things coming in for you. to bring an end to all that jazz. I don't like the not so happy jazz. I'm about positivity and positive vibes, okay? You control your own freaking happiness.
don't let other people pull your puppet strings like that. I understand this was a strong connection, but don't don't do that. What else came out? Ten of Pentacles reversed came out. Some of you might be having money issues. It's all about to turn around. All right, why is the Seven of Wands reversed here for what happened in the past? Could be distant, could be not so distant. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Ten of Wands reversed. Things were out of control. It was burdensome. It could be a burden that just wouldn't end. Something you needed to get off your chest. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Maybe they had to get something off their chest. It's not the things that we say or do. Sometimes it's the things that we don't say or do that cause the burden. Just keep that in mind. Or how you went about doing something or saying something. Six of Cups came out. Did I ask for the Ace of Pentacles reversed? I think I did. I'll just throw that there. I was looking at that card, so. Six of Cups on top of an Ace of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, this is somebody you've been playing with for a while. Soulmate connection, possibly through the lifetimes, or at the very least, somebody you've known for a while. take the happy memories with you, but they're out in the back deck. Planted a seed, it just didn't grow. What happens? What happens? Who knows what time has for us? I don't think I need to go over this Knight of Swords or this Nine of Swords, so I'm just going to leave those alone. Something was said or something was heard. Something made you go crazy. I'm leaving it alone. I wasn't there. You were. If it's resonating, that's your story. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Fool in the reverse. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. Why is the Fool in the reverse here? Three of Pentacles reversed. Get those. Somebody coming in. Stability. The catch. I mean, look at this dude. He's got a cow. He's holding a cake. He's holding wine. He's fat and happy and sassy. He's got it all. He wants to give it to you. But you're hesitating. Going to take all those troubles away. See? See? He flips that Nine of Swords right upside down. He's going to take it all the way. But there's hesitation here. There's hesitation with this full reversed and this Three of Pentacles reversed because you don't trust it right away. You're not going to trust it right away. You know why you're not going to trust it right away? Because the last time some fool came in with this, it didn't go so well. <laughs> Wasn't a stable foundation. That was then. This is now. Come into the now with me because it's fun. Shake it off like a pair of cement shoes. Why is the Five of Cups reversed here? Uh, 
Time for her in the reverse. Trying to come out of this state of sadness, but you're still vulnerable. Why is the Emperor reversed here? Six of Wands. One more, just because I can. One more. Five of Cups reversed again. This is the return to you. Yes, you're still vulnerable. This is you getting your mojo back. I can feel it. I can sense it. Your advice. Ace of Cups, upright, Ten of Swords, reversed. Sun ain't gonna shine again if you don't even look in the cup. The only one with the control over what this continues to do to you is you. The only one over the control, uh, the only one who has the control over the end of this cycle is you. You have a lot to give in that cup. See that cup, it's overflowing. You're the one with the power to end this cycle. You're the one with the power to make the sun shine again in your life. And just because it didn't work out last time, it was then. Come into the now. The devil in the upright, six of pentacles in the reverse. You're not going to know what an equal give and take connection feels like as long as that's still got its hooks in you. The devil came out again. Shake off the cement shoes, friends. They do you no good. It's very hard to walk the path in cement shoes. It's very hard to swim across the river to the other side into the land of happiness with cement shoes on. Kick them off. One more. The ten of cups in the upright and the lovers in the reverse. Sometimes you have to break a connection that wasn't equally felt to get to your ten of cups. You're one cup away. That cup is right there. You want your tenth cup. You know where it is. It is your choice what you do with it. We're going to get one set off of this and then I'm going to move to the next set of signs. The chariot, the magician. Your path is up to you. Manifest what you want. It's your journey. Live it. Love every second of it. Why be sad? Allow it to be their loss. And I know, I know that's a very vainglorious statement. But, um, catches typically go after catches. Your catch, baby. Kick the cement shoes off and go get your cup. All right. That's what I had for my air sign friends this week. Best of luck to you. And even if it doesn't work out this time and the cards were wrong, you know what? It's another step on the path. Another step on the path. I'm getting a little excited. To step on the path. The path is full of connections that are meant to teach us things.
And that's the beautiful thing about this game of life. Okay. Where are we at? Water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What do we have for you guys this week? Eight of Swords and the Hermit. Water signs. A little up in your head. Doing a little internalization. A little introspection. A little healing. Finding the light on a dark path. Okay. What happened? Could be distant. Could be recent. King of Wands, upright, sun in the reverse. Could have been a fire sign you're dealing with. I also have the Hermit here for Virgo. Could have been an air sign with this Eight of Swords. Leo with the sun. With this King of Wands, possibly you moved into a connection a little bit too quickly. He is all about Heller, high water forward movement. He's always holding that torch. Charge! Don't even think about it. Charge! Mm. Don't think about it. Just do it. Maybe a little bit too quickly. The sun is in, in the reverse is an indication of things not being so happy, happy, joy, joy. Possibly a connection that's not mutually felt. Yeah. We'll get clarity in a minute. What happened next? Ace of Cups upright, Knight of Cups in the reverse. A new cup comes along. This Knight of Cups can mean two different things. We'll get clarity in a second. It could be that they just came in and dumped your cup. Or they came in with a cup and left right away again. Could be there was nothing in the cup to begin with. With clarity in a second. It's coming in this week. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Oh, wow. That's a card of return. And that's a card of lack of communication, not so talky-talky, chummy-chummy. Could have been one of these jokers up here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this is two different people. It's a cup, so I, I'm assuming it might be a water sign person. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my water sign friend, please? Water sign friends. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Have I mentioned how relaxing it is being able to sit and read cards on a Saturday morning? Have I mentioned that yet? I'm just not at my bread and butter job. That's enough of a vacation for me. I can breathe. It's great. All right. Whoop. Whoop. All right. Why is the King of Wands here? Ace of Wands reverse. Seven of Cups in the upright. Temptations.
one more on that. Charging in a little too quick. Temptations. Possibly the wand wasn't all it was cracked up to be. I mean, you know. Just saying. You can take that however you want. Nine of Swords in the upright. Temptations, overthinking things. Maybe second guessing if you were moving too quickly or not. What? Okay, get up there. Now you're just making me mad. That'll work, thank you. Why is the sun reversed here? Stop shaking the table. <sighs> Trying not to. Five of Pentacles. Somebody got kicked out to the cold. Maybe you got kicked out to the cold. I'm I'm thinking maybe you kicked somebody out. Lack of happiness. Possibly could have been a ghosting involved. It was go, go, go until the, the truck got pulled over on the side of the highway. I mean, until you're... you're you're dead on the side of the highway at that point. Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Could potentially be that connection brought nothing but drama into your life, too. I'm sensing a lot of drama off of that little card, card cluster up there. I can't even talk right now. Clearly, I need a little more coffee or a little less coffee. I don't know. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Carry it in the reverse. Possibly someone being pulled in two different directions. Possibly could have been a return from someone from the past. New start in love. One more. It gave me three, why not? Three of Pentacles, the Moon, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. A unity, a coming together, but emotionally closed off nonetheless. This Moon card probably could have been some lies and deception involved. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Swords reversed, Queen of Wands upright. Oh my goodness. Needy, clingy. Either locking you in a cage of your own thoughts or they were locked in a cage of thoughts. I'm sensing confrontation and bad attitude. This could have been a return. I'm sensing somebody came back wanting a commitment and you're, I don't think you went for it. I don't think you did. And if you did, you didn't go for it for long. Can I get one more to clarify both of these and tie these together, please? One more. See if I'm tracking right here. Knight of Wands reverse. Somebody came back and wanted to commit. I don't think you move forward with it, though. Why is the Ace of Swords reversed here? Okay, 
King of Pentacles reversed. You are not talking to anybody. I think your phone's off this weekend and you're not wow water signs. What is going on? One more. Ain't taking no offers, ain't giving no offers. Possibly telling a few people where they can shove their offers. I mean, that is wow. You ain't going for nothing this weekend. Eight of Wands in the upright. Yeah? Just trucking along on the path. Picking up, dusting off. Eight of Cups reversed came out. So we're introspecting, kind of caught in a cage of our own thoughts. Having some self-worth issues. Just moving along on the path. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? This one, not this one. We're not dealing with that one right now. Why an Eight of Cups reversed? Star card came out. You're healing. Eight of Cups reversed isn't always the return of a person. It can be a return to ourselves. Okay. So you're healing this week. Probably having a few conversations with spirit. Not quite sure how those conversations are going, but you're healing. You're rediscovering you. I like it. Why is this Eight of Cups here? But the other side of what's going on this week. Not taking 20 cards. Try that again. It's going to be a long one. I still have fire signs to do. High Priestess. Powerful connection. Ten of Cups reversed. One more. Okay, I'll take two. Or three. Oh, guys, come on. King of Swords reversed. Seven of Wands. Ten of Wands reversed. I'm seeing cycles that don't want to close out. I'm seeing somebody seriously battling some demons right now. And having a crappy attitude about it. The star in this high priestess. You're getting back in touch with yourself. I mean, we, we, we went over this at the beginning of the reading and this only confirms it. You're getting back in touch with you. But it's very hard to get back in touch with you if you're wrapped up in a cage of your own thoughts. So I honestly think... You guys need to bust out of your cage. You do. Let's get some advice. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Seven of Pentacles and Strength. Okay. You need to rebuild some foundations and get yourself reestablished financially, emotionally, however. Before you give that one last push, you need to regroup. You need to be patient with yourself because you're drained as crap right now. 
you need to just bide your time for a little bit, okay? You really do. This was not an easy little bit here for whoever needs this reading. You gotta regroup. The Hanged Man and the Empress, okay. Acceptance of the things that you cannot change about whatever's happened in the past is the first step before going forward. You can walk the path pissed off all day long. It's not going to change anything. You have to accept it. You can't stay emotionally hung up. Or you can't expect growth big part of growth is acceptance. Get a couple more off of this. The Emperor and the Nine of Wands again. Again, reiterating, you need to get it together. You need to take charge of your path and your destiny before you give that one more push. Regroup. Introspect. Heal. Keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. Ah! Fire signs. Dear friends. You're next. So let me sort out this little pile we have going on here. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ah! You guys were going to let me do that, weren't you? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What do you guys got going on this week? What was that? Get back over there. Yeah. They don't want to shuffle today. Emperor in the reverse. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Fire signs, what are you so sheepish about? turtle all up in its shell. That's interesting. Fire signs or anything, they're not sheepish. What happened? Knight of Pentacles upright, Ace of Swords reversed. Things were moving slowly. Things were stable. Things were steady. All of a sudden, no communication. Okay. What happened then? Page of Cups reversed in the star. Again, with the no communication, no exchange of messages, a healing had to take place. Okay. Fast forward and through the movie. This star can also mean somebody had to reconnect with Source, possibly. 
All right. Well, that's what a healing is, really, is reconnecting with source, reconnecting with yourself. Oh, wow. Dealing with some restless energy and some salty feelings this week, are we? Hmm. Okay. Let's get a little bit of clarity. <coughs> Pardon me, I got this cough. Okay. Knight of Pentacles upright, Ace of Swords reversed. We're feeling sheepish. We're not communicating, things aren't moving, things are stagnant, we're vulnerable. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Four of Swords reversed. Things were steady, but things were slow. Someone got restless. Okay. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Sometimes I can do it in one card and... And sometimes it takes three or four or six, you know, I just... All depends on how I'm not taking 20 cards, no. Why is Ace of Swords reversed here? Ten of Swords. Lack of communication. Cycle ended. It was painful. That hurt. Wow. Apparently, one little sword going upside down made ten go upside down. So it was that little lack of communication that... It's over. Okay. Why is the Page of Cups reversed? Eight of Wands reversed, no forward movement, no communication. Page of Cups. Little bits of communication here and there. Little hi, how you doings? I don't think it's reciprocated though. Is somebody still has communication blocked here? So possibly messages are being read, just not returned? Okay. Could be the case for some of you. Why is the star here? Eight of Swords. Going through that healing process, somebody's still all up in their head in that cage of their own thoughts. Guess what? Um, figuratively speaking, her feet are not tied together. Those swords are far enough apart, she can get out of that anytime she wants. I almost wonder if it's because she can't see that she stays in that cage and it's that fear of unknown in that cage that keeps her safe maybe I don't know I wasn't there still healing one more on that eight of swords please
Ten of Cups. I'd like to know what fire sign is happy in a cage of their own thoughts. Do whatever you gotta do to heal. It's not my journey. I don't judge. Not at all. I've been here. So I get it. Why is the Four of Swords reversed here for what's happening this week? Why is the Four of Swords reversed here? Queen of Wands reversed. The Lovers and the Ace of Swords reversed again. A connection may be acknowledged. Acknowledged that it still exists. I don't think I don't think y'all doing anything about it though. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here? Someone may be closed off to the connection or closed off to doing anything about it. Not moving forward with it, not taking action. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here? Ten of Pentacles reversed, Tower reversed. Are we leaving the tower on the ground? Someone maybe not doing anything about it because they're trying to get their life back together. Just leaving the tower on the ground or building it brick by brick as they can because maybe they're having money issues, things of that nature. Why is Ace of Swords reversed here? Three of Pentacles reversed. Again, no communication, no foundation. One more. Seven of Wands. Battling their own inner demons. Got their own stuff going on. So through all this restless energy... Connection is still there. Neither one of you are in a place where you can do anything about it right now. On top of the salty tastes in your mouths, this could be mutual. We'll throw a clarifier on it. Why not? Why is Six of Pentacles reversed here? Back up to the top here for a second. Somebody may have gotten restless at the pace things were moving. And that's how one upside door, uh, uh, one upside down sword turned to ten. Ah, the moon comes out on top of the six of pentacles, reversed. The salty feelings could come from not knowing, the things not being illuminated yet. Four of cups reversed. Feelings being ignored. Maybe the lack of communication caused the salty feelings. Seven of Pentacles reversed, nine of, nine of Wands reversed. Somebody may just not have patience for it. Somebody. Maybe they're very vulnerable and just don't have one last push in them. Somebody over here is rebuilding a tower brick by brick. So, I mean, the thoughts are there. Tower's just on the ground. This moon is telling me you were never meant to know why. Or things will be illuminated in the universe's time, not yours. All right, let's get some advice. This is like a weird, crazy read. 
I'm still just baffled by, you know, one sword turned into ten in the blink of an eye. <laughs> totally a fire sign thing, though. I mean, we have a tendency to uh, let our emotions carry us away sometimes. Three of swords reversed in judgment. Really? Okay. I just heard, let go of the heartbreak and let the universe do its thing. I'm also hearing the universe will make its judgment call in its own time. It's not up to you. Fire signs, don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way because I am one and I'm allowed to say things like this. We're not always about other people's timetable. We're just not. We're on our own timetable. It's called fire sign time. And it's I want what I want and I want it now. You can't get this right now. Until you resolve this within yourself. You're not going to get what you want. and It's not going to happen right now. That was a hard pill for me to swallow right now. Ace of wands, six of wands. One wand at a time. One wand at a time. The victorious return will come when you can accept the wand. Right now, I don't think you can. Right now, I don't think you're ready to grab a baton, so. Nine of Wands reversed, Eight of Cups. For now, lay the weapons down, throw the towel in, walk on your path. The path is still there. Don't stay stuck where you're standing all covered up and huddled because you're afraid to walk on. Don't do that. Walk on. Eight of Pentacles in the upright, Ace of Cups in the reverse. Concentrate on what you need to be concentrating on. Making your money, paying your bills, working on you. Not so much on love right now. Not so much on connections. The Hermit reversed in the King of Swords. But at the same time, don't put your head in the sand and pretend that none of this happened. Because, you know, fire signs, specifically Sagittarians, are notorious for that. Forget it happened. You can't do that this time. Acknowledge that it happened, but don't get all emotional about it. And try to maintain a positive attitude and be honest with yourself. One more. Page of Wands, King of Wands. Communication will come in time and it'll be something you can move forward with. But it's not in your time. It's in the universes. All right. Thanks for coming by, guys. I appreciate all of you. I love you all to bits. And I'll catch you next week for another weekly. And slowly through the next, like, day and a half, I will be knocking out the rest of the readings for September. Along with all the other things that I have to do. Um, tomorrow is part of my vacation. I, have, I do have to go out of town for a couple hours to um, take care of a friend who's not doing so hot right now. So, but story for another day. Thanks for popping over. Love you. Be blessed. Catch you next week.